This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Spot elevation. Okay, let's open up where we left off. All right, we're going to save as 607. Begin. Okay, let's save as again. Complete. Okay, so we're going to add some spot elevations. Okay, add spot elevations. And let's go back to our site phase one show complete. So if we just zoom in here, we can see that we have all of the contour lines labeled and they're a geodetic height so it's above sea level 198 feet 198 feet there now what if we wanted to just use a spot elevation and just say how high is it right there okay you're going to pick three points so you're going to go to annotate spot elevation and then you're going to say one two three clicks and then that'll point to where you're working on and then it'll also give you a leader and a shoulder because those things are checked now these are things that you could uncheck so i could say don't give me a leader at all just there and then a second click just to position the text so that's also an option like all of the other annotations in revit you don't have to have those little target type things if i just hit escape i'm going to click on this one right here and let's just see what's available to us just out of the box so you've got things like crosshair, you've got crosshair relative, no symbols, so you could just have it so there's nothing there, and then maybe just the leader. So you have options as far as how you're going to display how you want it to look. Now you can also click in there, edit the type, and you can duplicate it, and I could just say this is custom one. And then you can go and choose maybe a different text size. We are using a very small text size for the contours, 130 seconds. We're making it aerial. We can choose what type of arrowhead it is. If I just say OK to that, you'll see now it's very different from these ones over here. Now you have to be a little watchful of that because that might actually print out quite a bit too small. OK, but you do have the options. Now you might notice as well when you click on this spot elevation that it's saying display elevations actual or top, bottom. When you see these things right here, what it's actually showing you is for beams. So you can use this tool for beam heights as well. But in our case, we're just using actual selected elevation, and that is for the topo. This is a very useful tool to show things like top of foundation wall, underside of footing, top of beam. The other thing that you might notice here is that it's saying project or relative. And in this case, it's not really going to matter because we're an actual height, but typically you're going to want to go with the project ones in the scenario that we're working with right now. You're going to want to go with the project ones. Okay, so I'm going to say target leader project, and I'm going to pick something just right over here and hit escape. Now you can move the text away if you want. It doesn't really change where the elevation is being taken from. Okay, so let's just do a dot with leader. You can just change how this is working. Let's go with crosshair project. Okay, maybe we'll take the leader off of that and we'll just move that text down. That's a pretty good one. Okay, so we can take note of that. That's spot elevations crosshair. And then we can just use our control tool, spot elevations crosshair project. Okay, the other thing that we did is we clicked on them all just going to control click them and take off the leader and now you get this nice little x marks the spot i think that's a fairly good look right there but it really depends on what you're working on like you know we talked about if you're doing a beam elevation or a top of foundation you might want to just have the arrow pointing to the top of foundation or maybe a dot but it's all available to you right within here by editing the type Okay, so let's go to view, close hidden, save, and shut that down.